This segment is brought to you by Pony Express. Check out the Community Edition and turn your Nexus 7 into a lean, mean, pen-testing machine. For all those hard-to-reach places, there's Pony Express. Visit them on the web at PonyExpress.com. And Bionapsis, the leading provider of solutions to protect ERSP systems from cyber attacks. Customers can secure their SAP and Oracle business-critical platforms from espionage, sabotage, and financial fraud risks. Visit them on the web at Onapsis.com. And by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. Don't forget to register for Source Boston coming up April 25th through the 28th. Looking for a career change? Tenable Network Security is hiring everything from programmers to researchers. Check out all of the available positions at securityweekly.com forward slash Tenable Jobs. Security Weekly listeners receive a 10% off products in our store at shop.securityweekly.com with the discount code IHACKNAKED. Larry is teaching SANS 617 Wireless Ethical Hacking and Defense coming up in Austin, Texas. That's May 18th through the 23rd. Make sure you check that out. Welcome back, everyone, to Security Weekly. I'm here with our special guest, Dan McInerney. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Holy yes, crap, did. I said it right. You know, 10 tries is one wonderful one to average have you people. here. Do I want to read your bio because it's really awesome. Dan wasted several years of life studying psychology in college before realizing that, A, he could teach himself everything he learned in college for free and more efficiently, and, B, he didn't actually want to go to school for another 12 years just for a shot at a mediocre job. So he switched his router into wet mode, cracked it, and was immediately and permanently addicted. His education from there uh, generally re- revolved around learning security concepts, then scripting it to Python to solidify the knowledge. This continued for the next several years until the end goal of his career was reached. I'm here. Getting on to Paul's Security Weekly. This is it. Dan will likely <laughs> cease all learning at this point as there is nothing left to achieve. Welcome to the show, Dan. Thank you. Very kind Thank words you. you put inside of your bio. Oh, That's great. Yeah. But you're here now. You hit a little traffic. We shuffled things around. We had some catastrophic technical failures. Props to our technical team for, for hanging with us for that. Good job, guys. So skilled. That is real leadership yes. right there, Paul. I like that. Thought, Thought leadership, leadership I'd well. say. And I got a compliment of my leadership skills from Mike. I mean... The, the night just, I don't know how it could get any better from here, except to see your technical segment, Dan. <laughs> well, <I'm laughs> Not that I'm setting this, expectations so. higher. Yeah. Oh, man. Go can out we, with can the we bang. start with the philosophical questions? Yeah. <laughs> which, which way do you put the sticker on the lid of your laptop? And was that intentional? <laughs> um, yeah. So, well, the focus is for me and the DEF CONs for everyone else. Okay. So, DEF CONs is not, not on the wow. screen. I actually, people, like, put thought into it and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Well, I kind of thought, well, focus, damn it, it's upside down. Maybe that's intentional. It's intentional. Well, I mean, guys, he no. was briefly a psychologist. I can't say I'm that creative. <laughs> I really don't have anything cool to say about that, but the, I don't know. You do have some cool Python scripts, though. Some. Okay. Some of them I work, hear some of them it. don't. On with the show. So, okay. why did, why did you? What, what problems were you trying to solve with your Python scripts? Um, Set the stage for us. Okay. Well, the very first one I ever wrote was um, I hello just started world. learning Python. No. I actually, you know, I skipped Hello World. I never really did. <laughs> it's that. kind of boring in Python. The, yeah, yeah, it's most really, languages, but anyway. So uh, I, I went through the Google class, the Google Python class. That's like eight hours or something, and I felt like, okay, I know Python now. You know, <laughs> let's go start writing scripts. <laughs> so I wrote uh, a tool that just checks your ARP cache, and then if your router ARP cache changes then it pops up a little message and says, uh, hey, looks like someone's ARP spoofing you. So would you like to nmap the attacker? Would you like to d off the attacker? Or would you like to do both at the same time? And uh, from there, I, I lost my mind when I was writing that. Like, but if you d off them and then try uh, okay, to... Okay, well, you nmap them first, and then it d off oh, okay. when the nmap is gotcha. done. Sorry. I'm not even sure if that ever worked, but uh, that was the idea. But I just lost my mind to that script. I, I remember, it 